Hey there friends, it is me, Mike Harmon, or HL Mod Tech, and today I'm here with a Christmas time unboxing video. So, let's open it up and see just what we got. Alright, it's super close to Christmas, so just probably should shake it. That's what every kid does, right? And all I really am is just a big kid. So, no idea. Let's open it up and see what we find. All right, friends, we have got the P65 3D printing pen. Every child is a creator. Let's see what else we have. Whoa, it is a double Christmas day. So then we're actually gonna end up with a comparison video. And thank you GearBest for giving us this option. Let's see what we got. Alrighty friends, let's see if we can find these on GearBest. If we simply type 3D pen, there is a nice list of them with a high of $43 all the way down to $12. I don't see our pen in that list. I don't see our pen in this row. Folding adjustable, there are so many different options. Oh, here is ours at twenty dollars and seven cents you can see it is called an elephant pen because it looks a bit like an elephant that's kind of cute it comes in dark sky blue blossom pink lawn green and lawn light gray if we scroll down it can use pla and asb it uses a two amp micro usb so that means it's the same as an android phone it does not come with that it has intelligent unload filament, so there's no clogging, and it's got a sweet cartoon look, which is extremely popular among the children's. We'll test that today because I'm at a middle school. Let's see if we can find the other pen in the list. I do not see it in that row or that row, so let's actually type in something a little better up here. Let's try robot pen. And here is our low temperature and our high temperature version of the 3D printing pen. I cannot tell if ours is the low or the high, but I'm thinking it might be the low. $31, so it's a little more expensive. This one has one color, comes with the plug. And let's see what else we can see down here. Uh, first, self-contained voice broadcast function. So this one has a voice operated tip the eye is more beautiful for the atmosphere intelligent appearance small exquisite adults and children have uh, find it comfortable to hold comes with the 5 volt 2 amp interface smart two button control is easy one button for 15 seconds automatically return material light press to change the tip of the pen, lower temperature operation is safer, and consumables are used repeatedly. Raced, waste utilization is more energy saving and environmentally friendly. Used waste within 40 degrees, you can make plasticine after the warm water is left and right. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll explore it. So let's actually move to the devices and see what we can make. All right, so the P65 3D printing pen does have a manual, steps that we can check out, shows it works in both right or left hand. Cool, fun colors, looks like a little animal. Not much for protective packaging, but it probably doesn't need much for protective packaging. Never seen one of these 3D pens, but the tip is plastic. Seems like it would fit in a kid, kid's hands pretty well. Comes with a little bit of PLA. Also comes with a USB cord. All right, so let's see what we got in the 3D pen box. Uh, so there's how it looks like a robot. Interesting. It's got a neat little stand apparently. This box is a little more sturdy. 
It's got a nice flip cover. And there is our adorable 3D pen. They both feel about the same. This one may be a little heavier. Maybe I'll get some weights on them so we can tell how they're made. As I showed in the little video, this one comes with a stand. That is a neat idea. They both come with some PLA. The P65 comes with a little more PLA, it looks like, although I can't tell this might just be wound tighter. It definitely comes with two colors. Both powered by USB. This one actually has a USB uh, wall charger in the box, so that's a nice touch. Then the manuals, I would say, are both pretty similar. Does explain how they work. Now it's time to get down to some testing. All right, so the adapter, standard wall adapter. Looks like about a six foot cord, so you're not gonna get too tangled in it. I've got a plug right here, so it's plugged in. Here's where it plugs into our robot. Eyes light up, which is adorable. It's got PLA, so let's work with PLA. Love the stand, that's a cool idea. Now I've used a lot of 3D printers. I've got printers for MakerBot, PrinterBot, Creality, GEE Tech. I've got a Zone Star. Never used a 3D pen though. And the other thing I'm a little bit leery about, um, never really had artistic skills. And I'm thinking to turn these into anything really cool, you're going to need some artistic skills. All right, so here we go. When you plug it in, you get the green eyes. And when we press the red button, it goes into heat mode, but you got to long press it. Switch on. It tells you that the switch is on, so it's got this mechanism where it talks to you and keeps you on the right track. You need to wait for it to heat up before it'll go to the next function. Complete. Beware heat of the pen nozzle. So, beware the heat of the nozzle, and it's heating complete. Let's see which one this is. Loading filament. So now you can actually feel it vibrate as the uh, filament motors are trying to pull through. Let's insert some filament. Making sure I don't burn myself with that hot tip. You can feel it pulling filament, and then I can see the filament coming out. There we've actually got some purple filament. Pause. So now it is paused. And let's actually create something. I'm going to try and build a small tower. Unloading filament. Ah, not going to be able to do it real well if I do the unload instead of the fill button. So the big button is unload. Kind of cool though, you can see how the filament's got little marks where it's being pulled through. Now when I put the filament in to start, I'll put this back in the little holder, it was clipped straight. Uh, my normal 3D printer knowledge, I clipped it uh, at an angle because that's usually better. Let's see if it works with straight filament. Loading filament. It does like that better. Who would have thunk that you'd had to do that? Alright, and this time we're going to draw with this end. There's my filament coming out. Tap to let it know. Alright. Let that cool a little and peel it off. Let's see if we can make my name. Or we'll do HL Montag. Over that 
it's just a little thicker. C. is 3D so you can make it as high as you want. Doesn't seem like I'm going through a ton of filament. Pause. That's how easy it is to pause. I'll separate it. You can see this side is already cooled and I have written HL Mod Tech and it is actually sturdy enough you can pick it up. I'm gonna keep exploring but there you can see how this works. Uh, it sounds like you need to take the filament out I each time. So right there I am unloading the filament. I'm gonna put it back in its nifty little stand. Wait for it to finish. There it finishes by itself. And we're good to go. Let's unplug this little guy quickly. And let's test the other one. Same style plug. This is kind of cool. There's several colors in this kit. Just like I noted before, it is a straight tip. And it is already feeding. Right now it's doing low speed, which is wonderful. I can feel the fil uh, filament pushing through, and we're about to see it start making stuff. The instructions simply say load the filament and create artwork. It pulls through at a pretty slow pace, so I think you'll have plenty of time to actually draw. This time I'm going to do a Christmas piece of artwork. There's my brown filament. If I was really doing Christmas, I should have probably put in something more festive. I'm gonna try and do a straight line this time. Let's do ho. I just switched to high speed. I want to figure out how to shut it off. Let's see what happens if we hold it. That just switches it back. This is the stop button. So I can peel off that filament I don't want. Once again, this is where the nifty clippers come in the hand. So you can just clip off what you don't want. And we have got another solid creation that uh, you, know, you can be proud of building. Let's see if I can turn it back on. And uh, I'm going to make a little keychain uh, holder, like if you were going to make a keychain. Although this will not be sturdy enough to make a keychain, but it could be an ornament. Double click it, and the filament automatically comes out. And just like that, you're ready to go. I'm going to unplug it and set it down. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Two unique 3D pens. Both do work very well. Both are very interesting. Uh, advantages of the robot pen, it comes with its own power adapter and the cool holder. Uh, this comes with more filament, so you got to pick which what you want. Both are a decent price. You can find them at your best. I'll have links down below. 
Friends, if you found this movie useful, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click subscribe, click that notification bell if you want to know immediately when I make a brand new movie. And if you've got a question or a comment, please add it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.